Morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the feast day of our Mother of Perpetual Health, a beloved devotion for all of us. And we also celebrate this year, we commemorate the 75th anniversary of since the first novena to our Mother of Perpetual Health was first prayed in her shrine in Baklaran. And we thank God that this devotion has spread not only here in our country, but all over the world. And so to thank the Lord, we celebrate this Eucharist. To prepare ourselves, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, and free us from every danger so that we may rejoice in your peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Abram was very rich in livestock, silver and gold. Lot, who went with Abram, also had flocks and herds and tents, so that the land could not support them if they stayed together. Their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. There were quarrels between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and those of Lot's. At this time, the Canaanites and the Perizzites were occupying the land. So Abram said to Lot, 
Let there be no strife between you and me, or between your herdsmen and mine, for we are kinsmen. Is not the whole land at your disposal? Please separate from me. If you prefer the left, I will go to the right. If you prefer the right, I will go to the left. Lot Look about and saw how well watered the whole Jordan plain was as far as Zor, like the Lord's own garden or like Egypt. This was before the Lord had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot, therefore, chose for himself the whole Jordan plain and set out as eastward. Thus they separated from each other. Abram stayed in the land of Canaan, while Lot settled among the cities of the plain, pitching his tents near Sodom. Now the inhabitants of Sodom were very wicked in the sins they committed against the Lord. After Lot had left, the Lord said to Abram, Look about you, and from where you are, Gaze to the north and south, east and west. All the land that you see, I will give to you and your descendants forever. I will make your descendants like the dust of the earth. If anyone could count the dust of the earth, your descendants too might be counted. Set forth and walk about in the land through its length and breadth, for to you I will give it. Abram moved his tents and went on to settle near the terebinth of Mamre, which is at Hebron. There he built an altar to the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does this thing shall never be disturbed. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs, or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot, and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate. For the gate is wide 
and the road broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life, and those who find it are few. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our Gospel reading today is about Jesus reminding us to choose the narrow road. To choose the narrow gate, to choose the narrow way. I think, my dear brothers and sisters, we can interpret this challenge of our Lord Jesus Christ not just in terms of choosing the correct and the right way to choose the narrow road or the narrow way is also to learn how to give way. Yung pagpili natin minsan nung mas maliit na daan natututo kang magbigay daan sa iba. Do we still know how to give way to others? Or is it always about my way? I want always the bigger road, the bigger way. But Jesus challenges us today to choose the smaller way so that you could learn also to make way for others. That is what Abraham did in our first reading today. When he and his cousin Lot was choosing where to go, Abraham told him, you choose where you want to go and I will choose the other way. So, Lot chose the better way, the better place, the bigger place, the more fruitful place where the Jordan River freely flows. And Abraham humbly said, Okay, I will choose the smaller place for me. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, there is wisdom in giving way to others. There is happiness if you see others succeed, even if you choose the smaller way, the narrower way. And later on, God also blessed Abraham. If you learn how to give way to others, God also will make way for you. Some people are asking me, Father, why are you not anymore celebrating the weekday masses at the Manila Cathedral? Sabi ko sa kanila, I'm not anymore the vice rector. No? I am only an attached priest here in the Manila Cathedral. No? But I will admit to you, there is always a temptation in me since I have been vice rector here for eight years there is always a temptation for me not to give way. <laughs> no, na makialam pa rin, no? Si Father Viel po, yung ating vice rector, is a five-month-old priest. I was in my last year in the seminary. He was just beginning in the seminary. In fact, I was, uh, I was his professor in fundamental theology. So there is a temptation for me to always think that I know better. I have been here for eight years. I know better. There is a temptation not to give way. 
That is why I have not been coming down so that I would learn to give way and to make way for others. Even if I think I know better, there is always wisdom in learning to give way and to make way for others. That is the challenge of Jesus in choosing the narrow road. My dear brothers and sisters, let us go to our mother of perpetual help today to learn from her humble way, our mother who always chose to be small so that she could have a bigger space in her heart for us, for others. Amen. Please stand. Christ promises that the narrow gate leads to life. Let us come to our Heavenly Father with the trust and confidence of the prayer our Lord taught us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, open to us the door of grace. Lord, open to us the door of grace. That the leaders of the church may guide the flock to the door that leads to life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, open to us the door of grace. That as a community, we may treat one another with respect, consideration, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Open to us the door of grace, that we may carry out God's will by our compassionate dealings with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, open to us the door of grace, that the sick and those suffering from various illnesses may find strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, open to us the door of grace, that the faithful departed may be raised with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, open to us the door of grace. Heavenly Father, create within us sincerity of heart so that we may love and respect others as you treasure them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made 
in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the blessed ever Virgin Mary, our Mother of Perpetual Health. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, 
spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we who devoutly honor the Blessed Virgin Mary may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all kneel as we pray the prayer to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us pray all together. Dear, Dear Mother, Mother of, of Perpetual, perpetual Help, help from, from the, the cross Jesus, Jesus gave you to us for our mother. mother. You, you are, are the, the kindest, kindest, the most loving of all mothers. mothers. Look, Look tenderly on us, your children, children as, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, needs especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, Share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always loved others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your powerful help. Amen. Amen. Let us all stand. After the celebration of the Eucharist, uh, we will bring down the icon or the image of our Mother of Perpetual Help so that you can privately uh, venerate the image. This image was brought home uh, here uh, when we went with Cardinal Chito Tagle in Rome in 2019 to accompany him. Father Reggie and I went to her shrine in Rome where the original icon of Mother of Perpetual Health is enshrined. And we went there, we bought a copy of the icon and we touched this copy of the icon to the original icon enshrined on the altar so that all of us may share in the graces of Jesus through the intercession of our mother. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.